set up at least. Ooh, it is correct. Okay. People might be able to hear us. I have no idea. You are live, I believe. They should be able to. Yes, you are live on the internet, and people can hear you on the internet. Oh, fuck yeah. That's awesome. Oh, fuck yeah. Websites. I have nothing set up, so this will be fun. Cool. You don't need anything set up. All right, going to reblog the live post. Oh, people are already in chat. Yeah, you get a, an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the oh. process. Yeah, I just realized, like, the before and after of these streams is going to be so much fun because, like, we can sit here, like, right now, they're not going to hear this in the podcast, but everyone seeing it for the first time is going to is gonna know that it happened. Buh? Huh? Welcome in, chat. Hello, Hi, hello. Chat. Hello, chat. Welcome to the pilot stream. There's a, there's a, plane? a plane? I thought you were driving. Oh gosh, where's Bigfoot? What? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Sometimes you don't make you don't have to make good jokes yet. What? That's why we haven't started. We're getting the bad ones out. Could you have gotten them out before the recording started? Oh yeah, it was way worse before. Okay, I believe that. <laughs> oh oh, do you guys want to do you guys want to see? I can animate my little Skelly Sona. Yeah. You show mean us. you can move your body? Check this shit out. <laughs> Pose, bitch, play. Shit, fucking rules. Work. Hit the slay button in chat. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> More. If you hit the slay button hard enough, you'll hit the prostate. <laughs> CT <laughs> rant, Sona. Yeah, where's your arms crossed, angry sprite? I gotta. Yeah, I, I need to be able to put my enormous, disgusting feet up near the camera. Oh. <laughs> is that what they do in rants now? Have you not seen that no. fucking video? <laughs> there's no. There's this. There's this like rant Sona who's like a furry who's arguing that child slavery is a good thing, but oh, right. he has this obvious foot fetish like Sona. And he like, there's a bit where he has a, a pose where he just like puts his gnarly fucking feet up in the camera, and it's terrible. I wish you didn't make me remember that. <laughs> There's an Thanks. audible thunk when he does it. It's so funny. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever heard. I, I wish you started streaming later so I could Google that before stream. Freak. Now, I, now I have to look it up now. Doing it to distract oh, you. Something wrong with Throwing you, you off your game. Yeah, they're, they're trying to fuck with our heads. What if <laughs> CT made that whole thing up? <laughs> okay, I, I've made We'd up worse things. live in a better world. <laughs> Fuck up my search history and all my cookies. Uh, Ransona furry feet video. <laughs> please. <laughs> Google, please. Google, Google please now. now. Bing, Cortana, anyone, please. <laughs> I'm being scroogled, please. Firefox, <laughs> don't leave me out here like this. Firefox, take off your shoes. <laughs> go to the polls. Okay. Pretty good. Also, hello everyone in chat. You're getting a, a unique behind the scenes look because I don't have a like, I don't have anything set up on this channel yet. Yippee! This is what Yippee. we this is what we call in the the production and design business a tech demo. This is a minimum viable product. Oh, an MVP that we call that in software design as well. Yeah, yeah, that's a theater a theater thing. Ooh, football. are we going to be doing agile uh, processes and go in sprints two weeks, creating incremental increases in our in our design? You will. Oh, no! I do that already! <laughs> are you looking for VC funding? <laughs> Please fund my silly zero-budget Twitch game show. <laughs> Please, Warren Buffett. <laughs> It takes $10,000 an hour to run this show. Mr. Please. Musk, you have no idea how expensive this is. We need a sponsorship I now. have fleets of writers helping me run Quizardry. Crowdfund <laughs> Discord Nitro, how pathetic. Uh, is, is the VOD going to be archived? Yes, absolutely. CT just has like 40, like thousand different people that all have like the fake email jobs that people had during the pandemic where they were just like sending one email a day while in the pool. <laughs> I, I am aghast. Drained. 
Automod marked the word Tumblrina as misogyny. I guess <laughs> sure. whatever. I, I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> Tumblr it, confirmed Yuri. Tumblrina to me is like a purple heart. <laughs> Again, <laughs> two in a row. I mean, Tumblrina is like a reclaimed slur, technically. <laughs> That's awesome. Which really Slur doesn't want you saying it. Like preteen girls with blue hair? Yeah, no, it started as like... It I was know like, what Tumblrina is. I was there when it was written. Yeah, but that, God. but it was written by like like proto-alt-right weirdos. I know. It, like 4chan people. Yeah, but yeah. I, I never got offended by the word Tumblrina. How, I know, it's so stupid. Tumblr, um, it actually has like the capability to go future in time. Like in the 2028 presidential election, that's like the that's the new woke is a Tumblr. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ron when DeSantis' Sanders, son. When Bernie Sanders inevitably runs again and loses, he will be running <laughs> on the campaign of uh, uh, being the America's first Tumblrina president. He will be like the alter the 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 evil no the good force that counters henry kissinger they're ah. both going to live to be four they're going to be red tark and Jesus. blue tark man oh, from tf2 they'll never 5 die p.m pacific it looks like we're, we're about ready to go live all right uh before i want to see if this still works on stream i just set this mm -hmm. up to does this do anything no what is about this does that do anything no okay never mind like uh, the the test animations that we did, Jamie. <laughs> see, oh, see. see, the tech people up above us, controlling the lights and shit, are like drawing lines across their neck, like desperately <laughs> shaking their heads. No, stop it! Stop it! No, stop pressing that. <laughs> okay. Shut it off! Why is it sparking? <laughs> okay, okay, it's time to go live. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, friends and enemies, you are listening to Quizardry, the game show of the strange and arcane. I am your host, C.T. Kelly, but a game show needs players, and today, our players are... Hi, my name is Candy. Um, I'm so full of blood. Yum! I'm Sanity, and I won't be stopped. I'm James 7T, and you are too. <laughs> These fine folks will be competing in a series of devious challenges to test their knowledge of magic, mysticism, cults and conspiracy theories, quackery, and con men. But enough talk, it is time to play. Round one. Welcome to Goop or Goof. How well yeah. do you know your health and wellness quackery? I'm going to describe a pair of products. One is a real product actually sold by Gwyneth Paltrow's goop. The other is a fake, a facsimile, a devilish trick. Correctly spot the real goop product and you win a point. <clears throat> Candy, question one. Mm -hmm. Goop or goof? Is it golden hour wipes for $20 or beach slut wipes for $20? Oh, this is interesting. So what I know about Gwyneth Paltrow's brand Goop is that she did sell vagina-scented candles. Mm-hmm. That is correct. And that she is generally just kind of insane. <laughs> so what were they called again? Could you list the options okay. again for me? Uh, Golden Hour Wipes, $20, or Beach Slut Wipes, also for $20. This is really... Th these are tricky. Golden Hour. Oh, Jesus. Beach slut is so easy, because, like, we already know she's insane about pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows know this. this. <laughs> pussy is only found on the beach. Could That's you imagine, I... like, make, making a letter seal out of the melted candle wax from her pussy candle? <laughs> what would that do to the US Dearest Margaret, system? I have encased this letter. <laughs> 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 the war is long. <laughs> I seal this with the candle that smells like Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina. <laughs> the war is long and yonic. <laughs> uh, fuck it. I'm going to go with Beach Slut. That is incorrect. Damn it! From the product description, tested against 80s Aegyptici mosquitoes in double-blind studies in an independent <laughs> lab, the wipes make any sort of outdoor adventure a thousand times more comfortable. They blinded the mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. <laughs> they blinded them, gave them sight, and took it from them again so they couldn't fear. They gave them back <laughs> the gift of sight. That project. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Sanity, question two. Awesome. Goop or goof, is it mirth pants for $155 (gasps) or a wacky halter for $155? Okay, so I I think I could have answered the first one correctly, too. Because in my eyes, what we're missing about Gwyneth Paltrow's whole shtick is that there's like a strange, like, even though she sells the vagina candles, in my eyes, there's a strange conservative cut to everything. Mm -hmm. So we had Mm -hmm. mirth pants, and I feel like you could give mirth pants to your seven-year-old. And what was the other one? A a wacky halter top? Mm -hmm. A wacky halter for $155. Okay. The price is, honestly, I think I can just throw out. I'm just going to assume everything, it costs at least (laughs) Uh, $4,000. I will say, every time I list a price, it is a real price. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. So hold on. Are these both, these both exist? No, one of these exist, but the actual object does cost that much money. Okay. Um, and yes, this is Mirth with an M. M-I-R-T-H. Okay. I'm going to say Mirth is the, is the goop, and the other one's the goof. That is incorrect. The real product oh is the Mirth pants from the product description. Looks best unironed. Yes, really. So that the natural crinkles come through. Pair them with swimsuits, summer knits, or simple tees. <clears throat> Jamie, question three. Goop or goof? Is it desire gummies for $42 or swamp extract for $42? <laughs> huh. hmm. Now, desire gummies feels like... The thing is, there's two types of items in in her store. Mm-hmm. Either sex item or insane thing I'd never put in my body. <laughs> I think that I think that the real one is swamp extract. That is incorrect. The real one oh is the God. desire gummies. From the, what do they do? From the product description, this daily <laughs> gummy is designed to minimize the impact stress has on sexual desire. The star ingredient what? here is a trademarked ashwagandha extract that has been clinically oh. shown to support your body's response to stress. It's and a then, testosterone enhancer. And then uh, on the next line, it says, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. <laughs> this, pr- this product is idiots. not intended to treat, cure, or prevent any disease. They should That's put that so warning idiot. on the pants, too. That should be on everything on the fucking site. People whose endocrine systems make testosterone, ashwagandha increases that. But in people whose endocrine systems make estrogen, it increases that in them. <laughs> it, well, <laughs> Viagra for some people. It's only boy <laughs> horny. <laughs> <laughs> that they should rename it to the boy horny gummy. Boar hoy. Boy 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, can we cut that? Can we cut that? <laughs> <laughs> Editor, cut there. Editor, cut please there. Please cut that, please. Okay, uh, Candy, question four. Goop Hi. or goof? Is it the blaster for $89 or the power ring for $89? How do I choose between the blaster and the power ring? I want to do a real beast like I'm even a One of these is an FPS weapon and the other one is from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> So do you love Star Wars or Sonic more? <laughs> I, what would the blaster even be referring to? It's clearly not a gun. It, would it be a sex toy? Would, me, does she sell know. sex toys? She does. Okay, okay. I, I will say she does sell sex toys, but that will not help you. Like that's not like a hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Find no comfort in that fact. I would like, <laughs> There's no solace. Maybe that's 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 something internal. Mm-hmm. No, I'm projecting. <sighs> the blaster. <laughs> That's just so good. I I have a lot of fun writing these. I can tell. <laughs> you should work for Goop. You should work for Goof. <laughs> Dual wheels. That's what they're doing right now. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm gonna go with the power ring. That is correct. Ooh. Uh, from the product description, 
It's ergonomically designed with even weight distribution, so you can hold it whatever way and always feel balanced. If you're motivated by cute workout gear, this is a must for your collection. What? So the, the power ring, if I recall correctly, is a circular silicone lined, like weighted ring for like, it's like a kettlebell type thing. Oh, it's like a okay. workout thing. Yeah, it's oh. like a ring fit dealy. My, my read on that was like one of those fake ass mood rings type yeah. deal that's like made out of like fragile turquoise that'll shatter around your finger after that a little while. That is so you have totally to something she would sell. Okay. Yes. So yeah, like exactly. The thing that's getting me about this one is that like if you went to a five below and saw a power ring on the shelf, that's completely normal, right? right. I could see a workout yeah. item being called a power ring, but because it's fucking Gwyneth Paltrow's store, Jeez. I had this vision, this idea that it was gonna fuck you somehow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay. I thought it was either a hand ring or a cock ring. I. It's who knows with the goop store. <clears throat> Sanity. Question five. Yeah. Is okay. it the crystal whip for $228 Come on. or a lazarite knife for $228? <laughs> Look at it, there's no shot! She sells weapons on her store! These are Dark Souls weapons. There's no way! The, I could see the crystal whip being, I don't know, like, a, like you roll it on your leg or something. La, the lazarite knife sounds like a, like literally like a Star Wars weapon. <laughs> Like proto sabers Lazarite. and lazarite knives. Lazarite, are you kidding me? Uh, that has is, to be not. In sorry. my knife, what is, it is in oh, so, oh in my knife. Oh my god, in my notes, in my script here, it is spelled L A Z U R I T E, as in like lapis lazuli. Oh, so oh. I I don't know things. Is that like a is that a real thing? Uh, lazarite, lazarite is a real, real material thing. that is a precious stone. Okay, what purpose would she sell you a knife? I, she sells like, all sorts of knives. She does? Yeah, I mean, kitchen implements, like like sewing implements, that sort of thing. Like, bl small blades are not uncommon in the store. Okay. Um, well, I feel like a whip has only the one use. And mm -hmm. I feel like a crystal whip would just, like, rend the flesh off any person <laughs> they used it on immediately. Um... I mean, if the Lazarite, if a knife is a thing that she could sell, I'm going to go with the Lazarite knife is the goop. That is incorrect. Oh, uh, my God. The from, whip is real? From the product description, pick up this writing crop by its crystal encrusted handle and give it a gentle swing. Made in Italy. So it's it's not even a whip. It's a writing crop. I mean, it, no, it's it's a whip. Like you whip people with it. It's like a it's like a BDSM whip. Well, yeah, I... but they, they call it a crop. Those are two different things. As a person who is uh, knowledgeable of horses, mm -hmm. I would not describe you using a, a crop on a horse as whipping the horse. Sanity, I, I would like to introduce you to the concept of lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry you had to learn this way. I am going to be honest. I totally thought Crystal Whip, I thought that was going to be real. The problem is I thought it was going to be like a whipped cream with like oh. shards of crystal in it. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was going to be some she sort can't of sell like perishable food because it's all online shopping. What? I don't. If you no, eat I don't crystals, you die instantly. No, she. I don't. She me, does don't sell her. food. She does sell food. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's like perishable? it's. It's, it's like Gwyneth Paltrow. She like sells like shelf stable stuff though. So she sells like warehouse. fancy made to order type food, right? Like uh, one of the things that in the one of the things that she used to sell was like by mail camel milk. Huh. What? Yeah, you could. Well, actually, she didn't sell camel milk. She sold a subscription service for camel milk. That's different, though. That's different. But like, there, Fuck. there is. Go to Paltrow's Hello Fresh. <laughs> I'm going insane. Okay, Jane. Question six. Yeah. Our this is our final goop or goof. Mm -hmm. Is it wet plant based sex serum for twenty four dollars mm -hmm. or? Something called Cherry Blossom Frenzy Jelly, also for $24. Okay, okay. And, okay. and in the first one, wet plant-based sex serum is spelled W-H-E-T, like a whetstone. Damn, okay. I think okay. it's just a type of plant. I am right. aghast. So, so you've, given, you've given me some information about both of these. So it's, uh, so it's Cherry Frenzy Jelly, yes? Cherry Blossom Frenzy Jelly. 
cherry blossom frenzy jelly or wet as in whetstone plant. Hmm. Based sex serum. I, I'm going to say I have no notes. I'm going to go with the whetstone one. I think that's real. That is correct. From the product description, uh, features plant-based ingredients intended to complement intimate moments like aloe vera juice and extracts from chamomile, ginseng, horny goat weed, and hemp seed. Hang on. No, I've heard, I've heard of... a little different. I heard of I've heard of horny goat weed. That's a thing that like as in of slut weed or something. No, <laughs> I think slut weed's what Gandalf was on. Horny goat weed's a thing you can buy it on Amazon. That's true. What was the What was the one you made up again? Uh, I made up the cherry blossom frenzy jelly. Can we make that real, please? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what frenzy jelly would do to a person, but I desperately want to find out. On God, when the cherry blossom taken. frenzy jelly hits. <laughs> be the first lab engineering products that use human testing because it's awesome. <laughs> Put a bunch of guys in this weird cherry gel and watch them beat the shit out of each other. Oh god. I'm straight up injecting this shit and it's doing things to me. Oh, you don't want to inject it. No. All right, that, that is the end of round one. And it looks like uh, we have a tie between Candy with one point and Jane with also with one point. I'll kill you. Can you see me now? I'm oh, what? Huh? Go on. <laughs> I'm here. I'm, I'm also here. No, Hi, Sanity. Our second Hi, round. Guys. Our second round is called This Week in the Infowar. I have scoured the conspiracy sphere for its most outlandish claims. I will ask you a series of questions that will test your knowledge of conspiracy lore. It is multiple choice, and for each correct answer, you win a point. Candy, we're going to start off with you. Question one. According to the conspiracy website, Our Hollow Earth, what is inside of the Hollow Earth? Is it A, a functioning train system run by the immortal mystics of India, B, a real-life Jurassic Park that exists complete with exotic animals, or C, a sanctuary for dead celebrities a la Elvis and Cher? Cher died? You had a lot of what? <laughs> Did Cher die? I'm learning a lot of sad things tonight, huh? <laughs> I believe Cher is still alive. <laughs> the frantic Googling I can hear right now! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, oh God, someone check on Cher! <laughs> check on Cher! Look inside the earth, crack it open like a fortune cookie! Start on the news now! Get shovels, start digging! <laughs> Oh my God, a chat, plane. chat, chat, we gotta get to the hollow earth right now. <laughs> Jump down any hole you can see in the ground. Don't worry about the depth. Just start <laughs> digging. Sure, we'll catch you. <laughs> so, 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 so the options were uh, a secret train system run by mystics in India. The immortal mystics of India. Yes. A, a literal Jurassic Park. Mm hmm Or, like, a secret society of celebrities. Yes. I'm gonna say C. That sounds so similar to so much of the shit I've heard. I, I am sorry. The correct answer was B. A real-life Jurassic Park. Are you kidding Park. me? From the title page... It is a terrestrial paradise where the original Garden of Eden is located, where the lost tribes of Israel live, where the political kingdom of God is located, where the lost Viking colonies of Greenland migrated to, where the vanquished Germans escaped to after World War II, where flying oh. saucers come from, where people who live to hundreds of years old in perfect health, where peace and pr prosperity exist for everyone, where a real-life Jurassic Park exists for exotic animals, where heaven is located in parentheses the inner sun wait there's people that live to be a hundred years old and they're going to be around dinosaurs aren't yeah. they going to get killed by the dinosaurs no nah, that... so back someone start digging with me god... <laughs> listen god and the nazis work together to keep the dinosaurs from killing all the old people jesus fuck that's a sentence <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Let's move on before I start killing people and sending them to the inner sun. <laughs> Someone hold candy back. <laughs> okay, okay. Sanity. Question two. In 1933, author Phoebe Marie Holmes claimed that she was visited by a pair of angels. Where did the angels take her? Was it A, the hollow sun, 
B, a second lower hell, or C, a United States Army base on the planet Saturn? Damn, okay, a second hell is really powerful, because they're angels, and I like the concept of the angels being like, we'll take you somewhere, we're actually devils, it's hell again, there's a second worst one, only for you, lady. Welcome to hell yes. too. Guess what, assholes? You survived one world war, you won't survive a second, you won't make it there. You're doing 912 down there, eh? <laughs> in hell you just go deeper <laughs> can you reach the maximum depth <laughs> Jurassic um, Park is down there. So, <laughs> so the options were one the inner sun the hollow sun the inner sun was from the previous question so this is the, <laughs> okay. ho the hollow oh, sun sorry. the oh, second I'm lower very... hell or a United States army base on the planet Saturn me. why would the angels take her to the military she could just go to the military. On Saturn? On Saturn? Oh. Yeah, this is also in 1933, so they didn't even have, like, fighter jets or anything yet. Well, I mean... Did they know... What? No, nothing. I almost just asked, did they know about Saturn? They definitely knew about Saturn <laughs> at that point. <laughs> I'm sure... Well, they, they, didn't... they haven't discovered it yet. They haven't gotten the planes up there yet. It would have been crazy if they hadn't discovered Saturn in 1933, and then later on, that was the one. Okay. I'm really tempted to say the, the army one. That seems like the most reasonable. The second hell... Oh, I, I guess that could make sense, too, because the angels would be like, hey, I don't... Maybe she thought Dante's Inferno was real? And she was, remember when Dante went to the first hell? It we're, There's a second one now, because people are getting worse. And mm -hmm. it's post-World War I, so that could also make sense. There's a lot of despair. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm going to stick with my gut, and I'm going to go military. That is not correct. Awesome. From our hollow earth.com quote, my visit to the sun relates how she was taken by two angels to the interior, the hollow interior of our outer sun to visit her mansion in the new Jerusalem being built there for, <laughs> for us by Jesus and all the resurrected prophets and saints after the earth's death and resurrection into a celestial world after the year through a uh, 3020, the new Jerusalem will be brought from the sun and will take the place of our inner sun to be the home of all of us worthy of becoming celestial beings. If you told me more about that, I would have been less inclined to pick that one because everything <laughs> you said continuously got less and less rational as it went. On. How much cat do I have to do to believe that shit? That sounds like such an easy life. Oh no! This is this is 1933. These people are on like hardcore oh, okay. opiates. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is like that that old OG like amphetamines type stuff. They're straight up huffing. Crack open a Coca Cola. Yeah, yeah. They've it got. Was, it was back when like diets were like you just drink uh, like four glasses of wine and smoke twelve cigarettes and then yeah. just in, inject morphine and that's uh, you're now you weigh thirty pounds. Yeah. Feeling bad? Take some meth. Yeah. So okay. I okay. have a question about this theory. Yeah. Uh, so this is a theory invented in sort of like the cocaine era. Um, mm -hmm. Why is it on a website? Why are people believing okay, it okay. now? Okay, okay. So this, um, this is from a website called ourhollowearth.com. Mm -hmm. But this mm -hmm. is a writer on hollowearth.com talking about a book that this lady published back in 1933 about uh. her like syphilis and amphetamines trip to the sun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was it easier to get books published back then? <laughs> Bro, you don't understand about anything. There was no internet. You can't just look up porn whenever you want. No, you have That's to true. understand even today, like even to this day, a book like this is being pub like by the time that this stream is done, four books just as wild as this will have been published. You're like, lowballing that number. I mean, I definitely am. Like, this is this is the era of the occult that I, like, live for. The, like, people spending $500 to self-publish their insane book so that I can go <laughs> sniff it out and find it at a public library's overflow bin. Like, I, those are lost children to me. I bring them home and I feed them warm milk and nurse them back to health. <laughs> <clears throat> Jane, question three. Yeah. On her website, Jalalia Star channels the nine-dimensional Nibiruan Council. Back in okay. 1993, they gave her a template to save the world. What recent addition to culture, 
um, forced her to update her plans? Was it A, the election of Joe Biden, B, the invention of cryptocurrency, or C, COVID-19? Oh, damn it. So, this so is interesting. What what disrupted the the nine-dimensional Nibiruans <laughs> council for saving the world? Like what what did she have to alter the plan? What was so big that she had to alter the plan? Now this is this is fun because this is not a question about which is the most insane answer. This is a question about do I think this person is a grifter or not? Because if the answer is crypto, that's the funniest answer to me. If cryptocurrency came out and this lady said, wait, 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 hold on. I need to, I, the, the ninth dimensional beings, they just phoned me and they said, you have to invest in Dogecoin <laughs> or I won't be able to prevent the creatures. Okay? It's the only thing. It's the only way. I, I feel like, okay, okay. Because if it's if it's mm, if it's COVID, I feel like every conspiracy theory has a spin on COVID. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be what this is. If it's Joe Biden, if it's Joe Biden, why wasn't it updated for COVID? So I think it's crypto. I think I'm going to go with cryptocurrency. She has updated her manifesto to say, give her Dogecoin. Final answer. That is correct. Yes. From from the website, quote. We will be creating a template to place in the mass consciousness grid. The purpose of this template will be to enhance the one that we already have. It will include changes that accommodate for the various changes in the timeline that have occurred since the first AI slash first contact template was created. The intention is that it will encompass all known variables for how the new financial system rolls out to the extent to which cryptocurrency is used, along with how 5G is used and more. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have the ability to move beyond the current cabal slash AI plan by shifting into a more positive timeline. Uh huh. Yeah, That's yeah. Insane. Like the fucking kinnies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sans I, Undertale. Well, unfortunately, Jane, yes, that is exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like They're the, trying to help the world into a better future by using crypto. We will use cryptocurrency to psychically land in the Onceler's body and then we'll be the Onceler. <laughs> no, no. They're not going to land they're not going to land in the Onceler's body. They're going to sh they're going to reality shift the entire like the entire oh. earth into a different parallel more positive earth. Everyone Wait. will be the Onceler. Shit, they're changing. We need to go stop these people. They're going to change us. <laughs> Somebody contact those ninth dimensional beings and tell them to put it in reverse. <laughs> tell them to throw it back. If they can play with this, it will be the second or maybe third hell. I'm not saying. <laughs> I, am, I am so proud of how quickly you guys managed to suss out the, like, the actual problem with this entire, like, 90 Nibiruan council end of conspiracy, like, religion. Because it's like... All the people that write shit like that seen them they see themselves as like, oh my god, the Alien Dimension Council like contacted me and it's my job to tell everyone else how to like save the world, right? They see themselves as like chosen prophets, but not in like a religious way. They're just like, I I have to teach everyone else how to be nice to each other. And my response to that is like, who the fuck are these con who's this alien council? Like fuck them. They don't get to tell me what to do. <laughs> All right. I, I real quick. I do need to mention because it's been eating me up the entire time. I did know about Nibiru from Yu-Gi-Oh. He's he's a there's a card in Yu-Gi-Oh called Nibiru. I don't know anything else, but I know he's a giant rock. Uh, yeah. uh, that actually proves the shifter theory. <laughs> oh, oh my god! They were here. So Nibiru was used also with a card called Dimensional Shifter. But continue. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So so in conspiracy lore, the planet Nibiru was a a theoretical like okay it depends based on the conspiracy theory but a, it's a lost planet right the idea is, is that uh -huh. like 20,000 years ago there used to be like another planet like an eighth planet in the sky um but it it drifted out of the sun's orbit and now it, it has this long elliptical orbit that'll return in like 40,000 years but because of that the 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 alien beings that lived on Nibiru are like still connected to us in some way because they're going to return one day right 
So that, like, whenever you hear the term Nibiru, that's kind of what they're talking about. So Nibiru will come up multiple times through this podcast, I imagine. I, is, it, there, is, is there an origin to this conspiracy theory that has any basis in reality? Or did some guy just have an idea? There are, there are a is couple. Is we don't know? Well, as with a, with a lot of things in conspiracy theories, it's like a combination of several different things. Right, like there are there are like ancient Sumerian and like ancient, like Northwest African, like like Malian uh, mythologies in which there was like a group of people. There was like a group of people in the sky who were like teachers and wise people, but they like left one day, right? And but and they're going to come back one day to keep teaching us, and. There's also, like, astro astronomical evidence of, like, you know, maybe there might have been another planet in our solar system, but it got slung out, like, a million years ago. And so a lot of conspiracy theorists connected these two ideas in their head of, like, oh, those ancient Sumerian and, like, Malian mythological figures were actually the people that lived on the lost planet that got slung out into the void, right? Does that make sense? No, but I get what you're saying. Excellent. So on to question four. <laughs> so, <clears throat> sanity. I believe it's your turn. Uh, uh, I think it's candy. No, it's my turn. Oh, okay. 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 Turn. Yes, yes. It's question four, so it is candy's turn. <clears throat> so, uh, what did Alex Jones claim was a direct consequence of Target selling non-gendered clothing? Was it A, Alex having a series of prophetic nightmares... B, the, 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 the death of infamous anti-Semitic evangelical preacher Pat Robertson, or C, a portal to hell really opening. Okay. Like a real portal to hell opening. Right. Like or, or, in Target? or No, 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 not in Target, just like in general. Um, oh. I can't, I'm having difficulty sussing out the bait here. Because I'm having difficulty gauging how spiritual Alex Jones is. I know he's been quoted to call people literal demons. I, I will give you a, a hint here. Alex Alex is extremely spiritual, right? Like if like, if like in the mystical sense? Yes. Like Alex mm. I it is pretty clear if you watch Alex Jones over a long period of time, he basically gets right up to the line of implying that he is a prophet. But he, he has said multiple times that he has prophetic visions and has a special like connection with God. Okay. Then I think it's the first one. The, okay. the nightmares. Okay. Whatever. That is unfortunately incorrect. From, yeah. his, from his June 6th, 2023 show, quote, You'll learn soon enough. Hell is being opened up. Only a th about a third of demons are on Earth right now, but more are being let in. It's interdimensional. So did, did he say? Did he say when the portal opened? Uh, he's from the rest of the show. He seemed to imply that there have been many portals opening in the past, but that Target selling non-gendered clothing was in fact an occult ritual that opened up an additional portal to hell. Oh, okay. Oh, now, well, stupid if, question. If there's more portals already, why is this one special? Yeah, a big whoop, right? Well, like, well, because it's new, like right? It's increasing the flow rate of demons. Oh, yeah, by like a percentage. Yeah, so I mean, we're couple... already fucked from demons. Like, he at says a that it's. Point. He says that a third of demons are on Earth right now. Yeah, like thirty three percent. How many? Like, well, even if it's even if it's three, that's <laughs> one demon on Earth. That's a lot of demons. <laughs> or was yeah. he just vague gesturing? If a third of demons are on Earth, clearly we're fine. I I has I want to go on the record. I have never been attacked by a demon. Okay, right? I've it's never like, been attacked by a demon. Listen, like, you could okay. say that a third of demons in the literal sense, what like their feet to their knees. No, it's a <laughs> it's one in. third of all demons. We can't like a portal to hell opens up and it just makes a dial up noise. Like oh fuck, we gotta give it time to load. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um <laughs> okay okay sanity question five on that same show 
What was Alex's explanation for people not being able to see the demons? Was it... <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're not fully aliased yet. They haven't. They're only a third in. Like they're goggles, but everything is the same except there's demons. <laughs> the, the the portal wasn't big enough to let in their bitmaps. Uh, 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 was it A? They're invisible. B? America's not spiritually pure enough. Or C? Americans have not purchased enough intelligence boosting supplements like the ones that Alex sells. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Okay, I know a, li a, a very small amount about Alex Jones. You are evil. really good. I <laughs> threw the first one out immediately, and then the third one I thought was really the case, which made me go back to thinking it was the first one. <laughs> so, I know because he, he, he fucking lost, like, he got sued for, like, roughly $4 trillion in the Sandy Hook uh, lawsuits or whatever, I think. Uh, it so, was... and he's, he's, got, he's got no money, right? Yeah. So, the third one kind of makes sense then, because, mm -hmm. now, now, okay. Clarification. Is he saying that people aren't, like, intelligent enough, period, but if you buy my intelligence-boosting supplements, that will help? Or he's saying the only way to see the demons that are spawned from Target is be is by eating my strange pills? I, I will not tell you. God damn it! Um, okay. What was the second one? Uh, America is not spiritually pure enough. So, that's interesting because then that leads to the concept of there's demons and they're doing things but we just can't see them which i guess makes sense as to why they're invisible mm -hmm. we're fucked yeah, that's just what christians think that there's demons should that they're just they're just there but we can't see them yeah, what happens demons with satan what do you even get if you see a demon like what how does that help I've you i've freddy's jump scare okay <laughs> okay yeah i guess chica chica and bonnie arrive um chica thought form from target <laughs> the third... New at Target, the Chica Tulpa. <laughs> the I'm so tempted to say the third one. I th I think going, I don't know. I think I'm using too much too much rational thought here. It's insane to, for him to say demons are real and you can't see them because you don't buy enough things from me because <laughs> I I don't have any money left. So I'm gonna go against my gut and say it's the third one. Because that's the dumbest one. That is correct. Oh, my He's God. such a grifter. From the June 6th, 2023 show, Jones then referenced the electromagnetic spectrum and visible light to illustrate how humans can actually see only very little of what's around them. Remember, <laughs> your sight is a tiny band of, of invisible light, and the light itself is just a tiny band of all the other energies, said Jones. There's just so much energy, it's hard to quantify it. Let's just say that we see 1% of what's going on. Your eyeballs are only set to pick up a very small amount of the stuff that's going on. This was then followed by two supplements for Alpha Brain Brain Supplement. Is he, okay. like, quoting, like, Star Trek sci-fi <laughs> to say that we could expand the cones of vision in our eyes? He, he does shit like a... Okay, you can always tell when Alex saw a movie last night because he talks about it on his show. <laughs> like, it's... Whatever's going on in politics is just, like, the... the <laughs> is just like the movie he saw last night. <laughs> um, my, <laughs> my favorite quote during one of the depositions, someone was asking him about his family life, right? And he was like, are you busy at home, Mr. Jones? And he said, he said, and I quote, it's like the minions at my house. <laughs> like the rise of Bruin here. <laughs> <laughs> Vector's there. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> yes, oh, like the hey, minions. You yes, the you wouldn't believe. I, okay. I like. I like. You, you go, Jim. Like, I wanna. I wanna just like. I was trying to think through this question as Sanity was answering. I was like, okay, it can't possibly be C. It can't possibly be a second grifter answer in the same series of eight questions. There's no way. This one's the trick, right? Because I was thinking about it, right? Literally, if you, okay. Alex Jones says, there's demons everywhere. You can only see them by buying my pills. You buy the pills and you don't see demons. You don't see demons. <laughs> this proves itself. I was like, there's no way you're selling that. There's no way you're <laughs> selling a demon seeing product. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, if uh, people you, are uh, insane uh, enough to buy the product, then they'll believe that they're seeing demons anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. All I also right. like the one. Oh, you go. Yeah, yeah. Go. Jame. Our final question of round two. 
On June 5th, 2023, InfoWars contributor uh, Jamie White published what appeared to be a trail cam footage. What did he claim to catch on that footage? Was it A, a, a quote, troll or perhaps a goblin beating a man to death? <laughs> B, a pair of witches eating a deer carcass? <laughs> or C, the ghost of former American President Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, no. I was like, I was like, oh, shit. Okay. I was like, oh, it's got to be B. Oh, it's got to be witches eating a corpse. And then the third one is so insane. Now it's like, damn it. Because, okay, okay. Full disclosure, my partner makes me watch terrible, terrible TikTok compilations of, like, scariest shit you've ever seen on TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. And weird shit winds up on those, like newscasters talking about the demons they see on like mall footage so i'm thinking i swear to god i've seen those first two before on tiktok i've seen the goblin beating someone to death and i've seen the two witches eating a corpse i haven't seen <laughs> the ghost of a president on trail cam footage so it's gotta be b or c and if listen to me if it's a I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm staking my entire political career on this answer. I'm going to go with B. It's got to be the witches eating the deer. That is correct. <sighs> From his Shit. June 5th oh, yes. show. Uh, they came 10 minutes after sunset. They looked disheveled. <laughs> it looked like they had wigs on. One looks like she has blonde hair underneath, Stanhope said. The women, with hair obscuring their faces, appear to squat down and reach for the rotting carcass before picking up a hoof and taking a bite. The article concludes with, in other news, Stanhope's camera also spotted a bobcat near the carcass, followed by a picture of a bobcat. <laughs> the entire time, like, we were talking about that question, I couldn't think of anything, because I was imagining the foley of hearing two witches, like, double, double toilet. <laughs> <laughs> a delicious deer carcass for me. <laughs> I, I was biting my lip to see if Jim knew if Jimmy Carter was alive or not. <laughs> <laughs> James, do you know if Jimmy Carter is alive? I refuse to answer the question. <laughs> Moving on. No, no. Okay, in in Jamie's defense, like Alex Jones and the Infowars people will like routinely claim that like people that are obviously alive have been dead for twenty years. Like, really? Yeah. In no, Jamie's that's like. Defense, I've seen Jimmy Carter. He ate a deer in my backyard last week. <laughs> Did you get it on trail cam footage? Fuck. Was he in his ghost form or human form? <laughs> was he per uh, perhaps he was a, a box. Was he perhaps a goblin? Radiation. So so no, that's that's a really common thing in conspiracy circles actually is like claiming that celebrities have been replaced with body doubles or uh like that the shadow government has like killed them and replaced them with a clone for saying something pro-conservative or whatever that's that's why i picked that answer the um about the the hollow earth because right. i've seen the like celebrities and presidents are secretly alive things so many times pattern recognition yeah there you go that that will help you later okay now oh, fuck my because i was wrong my favorite thing about these last three questions was it was two about the demons invading Earth, and then we had a witch jump scare, which I <laughs> <laughs> the cackling witch has the launched themselves <laughs> into CT Street. No, it's like there's like it's not everyone on Infowars. Like this is even too wild for a lot of people in Infowars. But there's like <laughs> I'd say like ballpark thirty percent of Infowars employees think that like witches are real and have powers. <laughs> Like, they, they think that you can actually become a witch. There's some real quacks on there. My, my favorite bit about that description, too, was, like, you were, they were like, a witch. They might have even been wearing a wig. I think I saw different hair. I'm like, that's not the strangest thing about a witch. It's right. a witch. <laughs> it's just a person with a wig on. Right, you, you saw her eat a deer hoof. That's like... <laughs> <laughs> you should have opened with that. Not the wig. <laughs> Okay, okay, so here we have, going into round three, we have Candy with one point, Sanity with one point, and Jame with three points. Ooh. Our final round is known as the Haunted Appraisal. This <gasps> round will test your knowledge of spellcraft and business. The internet is full of people selling strange and arcane things. I am going to read you the product description of a spell or magical object I found for sale on the internet. 
Your job is to tell me how much it costs. Whoever gets the closest without going over will win a point. And uh, shout out to Riley Rednines if you are in the chat for helping me out with this one. We had a, a wonderful, we had a delicious, wonderful laugh of a time looking through spell listings on Etsy. <clears throat> Item one, and this is for everyone. What is better than one pyramid? Two pyramid, of course. This is a 12-inch base octahedron made of 24 karat gold plated with bronze tubes. And that's tubes with an apostrophe S. The capstone of the pyramid consists of 24 karat gold plated energy vortex convex with four Lemurian gold wired crystals on the corners. And in the center gold wire wrapped Siberian blue four points dual crystal cast in resin. These all function to gather the light that comes in from the top and disperse it inside the pyramid, which on its turn gets released in the room where the octahedron resides. To increase the radius of the release of the octahedron has four double points clear quartz crystals with in the middle a Siberian crystal pending each of the gold filled with wire wrapped sandwiched with two powerful magnets all to increase radius and the field. The bottom of the octahedron consists of a gold plated copper tube which is three centimeters wide, five centimeters long, and has a 10 centimeter diameter surrounded by six raw clear quartz seeds resting on a bed of amethyst and Larimar stones. Here you can choose to charge your stones, crystals, or even jewelry. You can use the rodent coil sent out any desired frequency with a wave generator. This octahedron can be used inside, but also outside. We advise T the set the octahedron to the true north to get the maximum output. This octahedron can be used for multiple functions for healing, meditation, cleansing, protection, detoxing, even as far as the DNA activation. Your flora and fauna will tremendously benefit and flourish. <clears throat> so how much does this item cost? It is known as the Octahedron Double Giza Pyramid. I tried to visualize it, and I was not capable of doing that in third dimensional space. <laughs> Can I ask where it's being sold? Uh, this is being sold on Etsy. Okay. No Googling. I'm, you, would, you would hear the keyboard typing. Pointing my wizard staff at you. <laughs> I would not be able to say a single thing about the thing you just described. It's just in my mind. I could not Google it if you put a gun to my head or is, wizard is it staff. Two pyramids side by side, or one pyramid upside down attached at the base to another one. I think I think it is two pyramids attached at the base. What do you mean you think? You haven't seen what it looks like. I have seen what it looks like, but this is also an audio medium. So you have to forget. Mm. I do. Now, okay. Here's here's my question. Can do we have to go in order? Or can I get? Can I guess uh, my you price? Can, you can. I have put, one in mind. You can put down your price. Okay. Because of, they mentioned a lot of gold in this goddamn thing. So I am honestly going to guess three thousand dollars. Fuck. That was my answer too. All right. Do you want to uh, change? I'll say thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five hundred. I was going to say ten thousand. And <laughs> 10 10k. Ooh. All right. It seems like a bad guess now, but we're going to go with 10k. <laughs> unfortunately, oh, un unfortunately you have all gone over. The actual price of the item is $1,292.28. Still a sham. Yeah, oh, that's that's too expensive. <clears throat> oh, it's got a lot of gold in it, you see. They, they, there were so many things you could do. You could recharge jewelry. Yeah, you could there were there were tubes that were over the gold. Here, just here. to hide it, I guess. Do just you, to hide the gold. Do you want Please me to this? do you want me to post the image so y'all can see it? I'd love to crowdfund this pyramid with us. Okay, I will, <laughs> I will put it in our group chat. Okay, the word they okay. were looking for is diamond. Not double pyramid. Diamond. Now, now, when this was described, I wasn't picturing it as hollow. This looks significantly less valuable. I would not have guessed three thousand dollars if I had known the whole thing was hollow. I thought this thing was at least twelve feet wide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought it was and my desk ornament size, but I didn't think it was just like PVC pipes, almost like a wireframe. All oh, right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Item two. 
And uh, unfortunately, audience, I, I cannot show you. I do not know how to use Twitch quite yet. Um, will we will, it. if you would like to see it, you can see it after the stream is over. <clears throat> I can post a link in chat right now. All right, please do. Okay, item two. Now you have five instruments in one for the price of only one. The heart of this amazing instrument is its powerful frequency generator, one to 100,000 hertz. One, a pulsed electromagnetic field generator, or PEMF, complete with coil, a rife machine, radio transmission frequency generator for deep indirect frequency absorption, rife technology, a direct contact frequency generator using handheld copper probes for direct absorption, a tone source for connection to an external amplifier, a photon therapy frequency source built in photon modulator tube, a built in loudspeaker to listen to the frequencies. <laughs> Plus, it comes with a photon-emitting wave-energizing probe. Make sure you drink good quality charged wires. What? Frequency what the, oh, who does it say that? Sorry, sorry. Make sure you drink good quality charged water. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's my, my that means better. something completely oh different. My oh my god, I it's it doesn't really, but okay. Frequency <laughs> range. A huge range of frequencies available enable the reader the user to apply and or experiment with many existing claimed healing frequencies question can it do the hudla clark zap frequency answer yes absolutely Thirty thousand hertz no problem by direct with copper probes or by electromagnetic field field or by radio transmission rife you no longer need all of those instruments costing thousands. This one instrument covers them all, saving dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Seven. Specification. Liquid crystal display for easy operation. Easy operation from front panel. PEMF output Output by 75 millimeter Hemholtz C coil. Selectable automatic coil polarity reversal every two minutes. Direct frequency contact by handheld copper probes. Radio carrier transmission of frequencies for deep penetration. Built in audio amplifier and loudspeaker. Audio output provision for connection to external amplifier. Micro current technology. MCT. Note, a mains power cord is not included. You will need to purchase this cord separately from a local supplier to suit your country's power outlet wall socket. This cord is often referred to as a kettle cord. It is IEC-14. Note, always refer medical conditions to a, referred me to a registered medical professional. All right, your appraisals. I... Fuck, man. Okay. I wanna, I wanna say mine because I have this in my head. Okay. It said it saves cash. It said that all those other fucking machines they cost thousands of dollars each. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that that means this one is ludicrously expensive, mind you. But it's gotta be below a thousand dollars, I think. Mm. So I wanna put my guess in at seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. Because that's a ludicrous to me. That was a lot. Like that was. An audio nightmare for my ears. Me, I didn't. I can't visualize any of that. I'm, I'm seeing tubes. I'm seeing tubes that you stick in your mouth or something, and a radio, and something to play sounds. But I think it's seven hundred dollars worth of it. All right, seven hundred dollars it is. My take on this is, especially with the disclaimer at the end, this is one of those things that people think can use frequencies to like cure autism and that mm -hmm, shit. Mm -hmm. And even with like the this will save you cash. This is just a bunch of, like, wires and shit and a speaker attached to a screen. That's mm -hmm. really inexpensive to make, even with all that complicated fake techno jargon. I'm going to say 150 bucks. 150 yeah. All right. So I, I was thinking through, and I also caught the same thing Jame did, where there was, like, okay, less than less than thousands, right? Thousands mm -hmm. with a, with an S. Like, in their mind, this is a, this is a $4,000 thing. And they said some words that are almost words I recognize. <laughs> Emitter was used a lot. Um, they have loudspeakers, which mm -hmm. they don't have just speakers. Loudspeakers are electronically significant and different. Because like you get a normal bad PC, it'll have a little a little speaker in it. Um, it also has an LCD display. LCD is extremely cheap, but it has the word crystal in it. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming people that are buying this will see the word crystal in the screen and mm -hmm. think that's worth way more. 
Okay. So I'm going to go un- under a thousand, but close to a thousand. So I'm going to say eight hundred and fifty-six dollars and twenty-three cents. Eight hundred and fifty-six dollars and twenty-three cents. Yes. All right. The price of the item was one thousand three hundred and twenty-six dollars and ten cents. So sanity gets the point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. So because this is an audio medium, and we're potentially going to release this as like an audio-only format later, I'm going to post this link in our chat, but I want you to paint us a word picture of what you see. <laughs> Good idea. Oh my god. This is a small plastic white rectangular box with C51 SUPER in all caps, HEALER, written on the top. Three black input dials no inputs to the left of that which look like just cable inputs i'm not sure for what labeled abc i think those are buttons it it looks like a like a seismograph or like a handheld radio maybe yeah yes and the the, i I should also mention the lcd display looks strangely similar to like an eight segment display like you can there's maybe a hundred pixels on this entire thing. Yeah, I would say it's like a hospital. And uh, I yes, be- because everyone else can't see it. Uh, the top comment is exceptionally good customer service from Lou. I emailed a few things after. The box is smaller than I thought, but remarkably powerful. I entirely recommend this product. The five-in-one heater box, ten out of ten, and that's from Cormac McCarthy. So <laughs> <laughs> something something we've missed so far in the description is A, it's silver antenna that can fold down, and mm-hmm. B, what appears to be a handle on the top is actually some sort of light that glows a very bright blue oh, yeah, and look activated. At that. It it looks like um it reminds me of when I was in like like Boy Scouts, you have like little like you have like a handheld radio and it has a mm-hmm. little flashlight on the side that you can use for like strobe lights, so it has to be long. Mm-hmm. Um it looks like like one of those. I think I I think Candy was right. This looks like very much like like or whoever said it, hospital equipment. Yeah, it looks like yeah. hospital equipment that would be in like the the background of like the alien movies. This shit is like retro and stupid looking. The light on top of it looks like a glow stick. It and does. It looks like it's coming apart at the seams. If you look to the left and right of some of the close up pictures when the light is on, it doesn't look like it's properly joined together. Oh yeah, the molding <laughs> is fucked up. <clears throat> Item 3. The Radionix Psionics Amplifying Helmet. Ultimate Manifestation Tool. There's a YouTube link. The Psionic Amplifying Helmet is an amazing metaphysical slash psychic tool which can be used in conjunction with Radionix boxes for operators involving the crown chakra on the person's head as a standalone manifestation device, or even as a wishing machine. Psionics Amplifying Helmets works by increasing the psionics energy mind and focus to specific target slash intention. This device amplifies the power from the mind and is able to connect effectively to higher dimensions. People have had experiences such as remote viewing, clairvoyance, and command people's minds, thought reception, and thought projection, lucid dreaming, etc. may be used to connect disc discarnate intelligences and cosmic wisdom for problem solving and knowledge seeking dot 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 when connected to radionics box the helmet have the remarkable ability to tune in mentally to any kind of energy can be used to read minds project thoughts contact the spirit world or either ask for assistance or knowledge even simplify means of contacting higher dimensional entities. It is also used to program one's own etheric body. By example, for astral projection, parentheses, travel by parallel universes or quantum time travel, all this is possible because the helmet guides the etheric body via the third crown chakra and the an the entire person's aura, (laughs) thus programming him with the desired intent. Psionics Amplifying Helmet is the ultimate manifestation tool! Three exclamation points. The Radionics Psionics Amplifying Helmet comes complete with plastic ABS high-impact heavy-duty adjustable helmet, three Radionics tuning dials, built-in monopole antenna, crystal, Psionics (laughs) Magnetron (laughs) Amplifier with... (laughs) With (laughs) 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 built-in monopole antenna, crystal, psionics magnetron amplifier with neodymium magnets, 
3.5 audio mono jack with alligator clip for connections. 3.5 audio mono jack slash RCA audio cable for connecting to any radionics box. Printed instruction manual for usage and getting the best result. Ugh, okay. Okay. CT, oh. what is radionics? What the fuck did any of that mean? Rubs my little wizard hands together. Radionics <laughs> is a branch of pseudoscience that splits off um, from John Mark, um, the, the guy that invented the radio, Marconi, right? So they believe that there is, so, okay, in mathematics, right? There are, there are waves, right? It is. Do they think there's frequencies that can like cure people and make them more powerful? You'll, you'll see, you'll see. It is, they believe that there is a thing called a scalar wave. Like a, a scalar is, is a, you know, it's like a line that just has a point and then it's a line shooting off in one direction, right? That's not how waves work. Waves need a second dimension, but radionics comes from the theory that there is such a thing as a scalar wave, as in like a, a mathematical wave that can exist only in a single dimension and is like infinitely fine, right? People that are into radionics are like early, like, like 1950s radio enthusiasts, like ham radio enthusiasts who believe that radio technology can be used to like teleport, right? Because they, they believe that modern science has been ignoring the scalar wave and that there's an entire branch of actual radio technology that they call radionics that should be explored by mainstream science. And this person is saying that he can build a mind control helmet with it. A mind control helmet that can control your own mind. Or others. Or the hmm. universe, apparently. Well, that's why the crystal's there. That thing can crystal. Half an A-press, parallel crystal. Universes. I think... There had to be a crystal. I well, think but... that this item is worth... $50. Well, it's worth I'm gonna... nothing. Well, listen. I, I want to say... I want to point something out about that description, about all these descriptions. All these people who are visiting parallel universes and uh, contacting the Bebians and all that, I think that they know something that we don't. Because they... You know what? Grammar is no object to them. They don't care. They'll write anything in their descriptions. I think it's beautiful. I think they know something we don't. Mm -hmm. They they literally had like a seven-year-old trying to describe dinosaurs to you moment where they were like... <laughs> and there's the... And the... And the... um. There's a crystal, and um, also there's in there. It said and the twice. My my favorite is travel by parallel universes or quantum time travel. All this is possible because the helmet guides the etheric body. Because the helmet. It, right, does it say not like, because, because, C-A-U-S-E. Like, -S -S -E. All this is possible because the, the helmet guides the etheric body. Obviously. It's like, it's talking to you as if you are already well-versed in all of this, and you already, like, know how this is going to affect you and let you like like you're a regular so it's so, talking to me yeah. like my first boss did at my first job where he's like oh yeah you know you just do everything that i've been doing for 60 years and i'm like oh, i'm 17 so, i can't understand any of this shit i guess if you're that far into it that you're seeing these items on like website pages you probably do believe in all this shit mm -hmm. so so jame is your final answer 50 dollars I'm going to say my final answer is $50. I think that this we're going to see an image of this. It is going to be copper wire coiled around a crystal. <laughs> I don't think it will be safe to put on your head. It will be a crown of thorns. Mm -hmm. I'm going to oh you I'm going to say $350. Okay. Because I they mentioned a, an ABS plastic helmet that I think they, did they say it was like impact rated. Yes. So that that probably means they went on Amazon and found the cheapest helmet in the world for like thirty bucks, and then multiplied that cost by ten, and then made the rest of the shit up with like things. They also mentioned alligator clips for like audio, <laughs> which is not a thing you've done for audio in the last like hundred and fifty years, right? Which, um, so yeah, I think three fifty. Okay, candy. I am gonna highball this because I think. Ooh. The effort put into assembling this piece of shit and, like, the defining all these terms, they probably might have had to break out an actual drill or something to make this, the, if the picture in my head is correct. I'm imagining, like, 
one of those plastic helmets they put on babies to make sure that when they lay down, their skull doesn't cave in. Except there's like a radio strap to it with all those antennas sticking out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That takes effort, man. I mean, not compared to like real work that people do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is fantasy land. But the guy making it had to genuinely try, I think. Mm -hmm. If the picture in my mind is somewhat correct. And also they think that if put on the correct person, they can alter the course of the universe. So and like other people. So you're going to highball this one. I'm going to highball this one, yeah. Because of all that nonsense that I just said. Okay. Um, which would be really funny if I'm wrong. So you're welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say $950. $950. Okay. The actual price of this item is $623.75, meaning Damn. Sanity gets the point. Damn, Oof. again. Yeah. Sanity sweep. It's all my business acumen. It's coming, <laughs> it, the, the business minor I got in college, it's coming into play right now. And I, I, I have a bit of a present for you. Yes, it is a hard hat with a bunch of dials welded to it. Yeah, baby, I knew it! <laughs> oh my god, it is. Oh, wow. It is just, it's literally just a black hard hat with dials welded to it. <laughs> the witching Anyone helmet. Anyone watching, yeah, anyone watching or listening doesn't need an image because that's all it is. It's Imagine a with a knob, multiple knobs. It, they look like they, they've they been like taped on. It looks like someone found like a, a, a sticky knob somewhere and just stuck it on the side of this helmet. Yeah, Do you literally. see the little, dumb little antenna in the back? Yeah. It's yeah, so small. It's, it's, it's maybe in the back. It's maybe an inch and a half. All right, everyone. It looks like the final score is Candy with one point, Sanity with three points, and Jame with three points. So it's a tie. I do not have a tiebreaker question, so the two of you are going to have to share the silver. Yeah, wait, why can't we share the gold? I don't know. Oh. Where'd the gold go? Uh, did you, did you, did you steal the gold? Looks over at mysteriously gold metal shaped CT. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. This was a lot of fun. I think this was, this was a, a successful episode one. We will be back same time, same place next week. Maybe with the same cast, maybe with a different cast. Who knows? But I will bid you all adieu. Uh, could somebody... Uh, tell me how to raid into someone. <laughs> you type flash raid and then the name of the channel. All right. And the Twitch, obviously. Uh, no, in Discord. In Discord, actually. Ew. Okay. No, not in Discord. No, they're lying. I'm kidding, I'm they're, kidding, I'm kidding. they're lying directly I to you. I literally don't know how this works, Candy. <laughs> Yeah, to control Twitch, you actually have to use Discord, a completely different company. I, you've been sending me so many delightful websites that have all sorts of things <laughs> that like link to my actual bullshit. It's okay. What's the raid message, everyone? Crystal the raid message. Yeah, Crystal. Yeah. Crystal. 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 All right. All right. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna send you over to our good friend Holly Hollowtones. Uh, tell them Crystal. 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 Oh, never mind. All right. Holly isn't live. <laughs> oh, wait, shit. <laughs> well, never. Cancel. Okay. Unraid. Oh, okay. Who is live? Mojave's live. Okay. I will send you over to uh, our friend Mojave. That was great. You just learned an important Twitch lesson. I, I'm learning so many things. Now we get to teach you. Same thing, chat. I'm learning so many things. The crystal. 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 Crystal wizard helmet gang. <laughs> we love granting wishes. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.